This is how we discover the Ionian Islands, Ithaca, Kefalonia, Paxoi, some tiny fisherman town we visit, the most beautiful bays we've ever anchored in, the most turquoise water I ever swam in, it was fantastic. Of course, some fun in the dinghy and uh, some antique sites we visited. At the end, we finally meet up with our friends in Kefalonia and continue together our first night sail, which was quite exciting for us. Here we go. Here we are, arriving in Itata. After quite some days, just going, 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 making way. We're now entering the marina, hopefully gonna find a nice spot and uh, discover the island, maybe rent a car, really go around and uh, spend some time. We really missed being on land. <laughs> we stayed in a small town called Vati. Uh, which was nice. Uh, it had all the essentials that we needed um, and good spot for us in the marina, safely tied uh, supermarkets to fill our fridge again with all the fresh stuff and lots of space for Luca to ride his uh, scooter and climb on trees to get his energy out. Sen ağacı tırmanmayı çok mu seviyorsun? Yes, good morning. Uh, we decided we want to go discover the island today. So we're going to be cruising around and seeing what we can discover, what we find. We are in Frikas, a little fisherman town. The beautiful beach and coming down from this little serpentine street uh, from the mountain, it was the most beautiful view. It was really beautiful. Here we are. Spot. arrived in Hioni, another little fisherman town, and we just love it here. It's so beautiful. I wish we, we came with a boat here, some lots of space to tie up, and uh, such a nice energy. So this is mythology but also story. It's not researched enough yet to know if everything is true or not. That was supposed to be his home. Here we are in the school of Homer. This is supposed to be the, the palace of Odysseus. It was only recently discovered and such a magnificent view. Look at this. Here we are, yeah. leaving uh, Itakawati. Itakawati. Uh, we uh, 
<laughs> we're able to stay one day only. It was a sweet city, but quite touristy. And actually, that really destroyed in, a, in an earthquake um, and was built up again in the 50s. So that's maybe what made it be quite like a film, film coulisse, film background. A bit, I don't know, I didn't like it. I found it a bit fake. <laughs> and um, we decided to leave. Yes. So uh, no more time in marinas and city life and streets and cars passing. So just gonna head out and anchor somewhere and enjoy it quietly. It ended up being a beautiful bay, but a very shaky, gusty night. But that's the downside of anchoring sometimes. The next day we continued and uh, had uh, a small something to be checked down underneath the keel of the boat so it could go down. And, uh, that's how it looks like down there. And then for the next two days we went to the most beautiful bay I had ever been to. We anchored and had a fantastic spot protected from the wind and uh, all these daily boats and uh, touristy cruises most of them left in the evening so we were fairly lonely and was really peaceful and quiet and the water was simply fantastic it was so turquoise so clean you can see everything the cleanest water i've ever seen it's like an aquarium We collected many stones that we uh, keep like treasures and uh, plan to paint later on for decoration proposal. And then the swimming, we simply couldn't get enough of it. It, it truly was like, it was like paradise. Unbelievable. <laughs> And of course, Luca spent like almost all day inside the dinghy, cleaning it, throwing, going back and forth. He sometimes even had lunch in the dinghy. But also in paradise, household chores need to be done. So today was washing day. two machines of laundry and here we are and a rare picture somebody is folding and then Luca discovered a new hobby that he's been passionately practicing since then Usually it's the first thing he wants to do in the morning after he gets up. Hey, Buck, good morning, Dad. Buck? So clean. The water is so clean and clear. We see everything. Good morning. Ooh, sun is beautiful. Come on, little sun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, das war ganz schön weit. This was one of these mornings that was just fabulous. Don't get me wrong, not all days start like this, um, but that morning was really harmonic. We then started doing some, we tried doing some sports together with Luca. It uh, ended quickly and he was more interested in climbing around. Then it was time for some more swimming. 
as we had decided to leave that beautiful Paradise Bay. And Luca continued fishing. And look at that, he got lucky and caught his first fish. Congratulations, little one. And then we left, definitely wanting to come back in the future. Welcome to Sami. It's done, we cleaned the whole boat. It feels like a different world now. Sami, Catalonia. Catalonia, yeah. In the marina, hide safely, securely. Fresh water. Uh, shopping. We can fill our fridge again because we're running low on almost everything. So, it's nice. As always, we had some works to be done on the boat. Uh, this time it was climbing onto the mast and uh, repairing or exchanging our cruising light. So here I am in a special seat, equipped with the necessary tools and uh, Ikut is pulling me up with the winches. It's quite a spectacular view from up there. Quite an interesting perspective. And you do get, well, no I did get some butterflies in my tummy being high up there. On the next day we rented a car again and went to discover the island Kefalonia. We went to see an old very fine cave. This is Piates Gialos Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in uh, Greece. And we went to see Assos, a little town in the north of the island. Unfortunately, we lost one of our GoPros on that trip, so our photo material is a bit improvised, mainly uh, recorded by Luca. Finally, we were expecting our friends to arrive who had left Turkey just a bit later than we did and we were going to continue the rest of the trip together. Preparations for our friends to arrive. Someone was super excited. <laughs> just fell asleep waiting. And that's them arriving in total darkness. Hey. Hoş geldiniz. Arkadaşlar. They arrived. Unbelievable. So happy. We then left Kefalonia to go to Paksoy, which is just a little bit south of Corfu. And uh, two more nights there. We had the most fantastic time on the Ionian Islands. The bays, the swimming, the turquoise water it was simply fantastic. But then it was time to say goodbye, and we were waiting for the wind and weather, and uh, we're approaching our first night sail from Paxoi to Italy. Good morning. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, Sunday, 11th. And uh, today is the big day. We're gonna have um, the first big crossing for us. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna go from Greece in uh, Paxoi, where we are right now, to the Italian mainland. Uh, and um, yeah, it's gonna take us one day, six hours. That's what the calculation is, maybe a bit longer. Just the first long, really long trip for us and the first night sail. So let's see, it's a long way. Um, I'm a bit nervous, I'm a bit excited. And now we're just preparing everything, getting everything ready, and then we're gonna leave. And I uh, have no connection with the phone, no internet, no nothing. So we're on our own. And um, yeah, adventure. Okay, see you. Someone is ready? <laughs> Bad moment. Uh, evet. Um, how do you feel? Good. Yeah. Biraz heyecanlıyım. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. Mm. It's going to be our first time, first experience to go over the night. In such a long trip? Such a long trip. leaving Greece. No wind at the moment. I'll be motoring, cruising for a couple of hours. The weather is going to be more windy and gusty tonight, more wavy, and then calm down again until we arrive in Italy. Really excited going together with friends on an experience like that the first night night sail was uh, a true blessing there we go no wind no waves here i am cooking this is my friend's turkish tahana soup ingredient magic ingredient homemade thank you to suzanne's mom thank you so much my boys love it. Then the composting, so all natural ingredients and uh, leftovers from vegetables go into the sea. The fish can have something, and it's going to be compost. And uh, preparing for tonight, um, fish. We have more of our tuna. I packed it in little bags, pieces, so I have some tuna filet, onion, uh, olives from our garden, and uh, we'll cook it in tomato sauce, and uh, my new baby, <laughs> never used before, used every day since now we're on the boat, the pressure cooker right now is making the charba, the, the soup, and in a minute I'll cook for tonight our fish and tomato soup so once the wind and waves start uh, we don't need to be down here anymore and waste time preparing so this is my stove um, it's uh, moving when the boat is leaning over to one side the pots and pans stay kind of horizontal and uh, don't fall off the stove that easily Yep, finally. Wind oh, and yes. we're going. Yes, we open the sail. At 11, 10, 11 knots. 11 knots, 5.5 knots to the speed. Yeah. We're going. Here we go. It's our course. Another 25 hours.
what happened next was that our transducer stopped working. So that's the little thing on the bottom of the boat that helps us define our speed and the true wind. Um, it's a common thing that happens. You just need to take it out and clean it. But it's a thing on the bottom of the boat. So when you take it out, there's water coming into the boat. The thought of having like a huge fountain of water splashing into our boat, uh, especially on a on an experience, a first night sail, 25 hours to go until we're in the Italian border, um, freaked me out. Nevertheless, we had to get it done, um, and it worked out just perfect. Not such a big thing at all. And, um, yeah, we were good to go. Our dinner is almost ready. We're gonna have dinner in the most beautiful sunset, I guess, huh? Woo! Biraz daha güneş batacak. Yellow, ah, the opposite side. It's like a pinkish, purplish blue. I'm back there. See your friends. Saving young orange. Beautiful to be traveling together. So what's special about a night sail, you create shifts, so someone will be up at any time, uh, having an eye on wind, waves, weather changes, and of course other boats crossing, uh, seeing the lights on the horizon or on the radar. We were really lucky because the night we sailed we had full moon and uh, it was a beautiful night seeing so many stars. So in the morning, the wind got stronger and the waves got higher, uh, one meter, one and a half meter, which is fairly okay, but they were rolling in from the sides, actually two directions. It was a bit shaky. I tried to catch it, but it's actually quite difficult to get this feeling on video. I must say I was relieved when the morning broke in and uh, the night was over, that everything went well and I actually really enjoyed the night sail.
After 30 hours, we finally arrived on the Italian mainland, Italian coast, and uh, we found a nice spot to anchor, stayed the night, and continued the next morning towards Sicily. So if you want to know how our journey continues, follow us on Instagram or YouTube. Bye-bye.